All right, I'm here with the uh, CMD HD40 that is not working. Um, I talked to the guy that owns it. He sent me some pictures of the inside, and um, we saw what we think is the problem. Um, I don't think it's anything major. I hope it's not anyway. But uh, he also wants me to put a, a SCSI to SD card um, board in it. But for right now, I just want to open it up and see what's going on. So I'm going to take it apart real quick. These are usually very tough drives. Um, if anything is wrong with them, it's usually something to do with the drive mechanism itself. Um, I haven't had a lot of issues with the boards. You see, it's pretty simple. Not a lot to them. But I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a capacitor right here that is broken. So um, it was functioning perfectly fine. Um, he was trying to do uh, some modifications to it to make the, the SD board sit in here and he probably just snapped off that capacitor. Um, I, there, there's really nothing else he could have messed up, I don't think, while trying to do that. So hopefully it'll just be a real easy replace the capacitor and it'll start working again. <laughs> so hopefully so. First thing we gotta do is get this board out of here. Take all this stuff out of my way. And I've got, I'm also 3D printing out a bracket to hold that SD card device in here. So I'll have to come back with another video showing all that. Because I just started printing it and it'll take a good little while. I'm going to look everything over real good while we got the board out. It looks like this capacitor right here is leaking too. I see a bunch of gooey stuff right there. So this capacitor right here might be bad also. I just noticed that. So we're gonna get that out and get it replaced also. Might as well replace both of those while we're in here. Okay. It's a little dusty in there too. <laughs> a few years of dust collected underneath there. I'm going to pull my magnifying glass down here because I'm old. And I'm going to take a look at this. Yes, that capacitor is bad. No doubt about it. So it's coming out. And then the one that we can see that's visually broken, I'll replace it. Let's see, there's three main capacitors on here. I'm going to replace all three of these while we got it open. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to remove this capacitor, replace it, replace these, and uh, that'll be part one. We'll uh, come back after I've, uh, after I've got everything ready to replace them. Um, I don't think you really want to watch me replacing a capacitor. <laughs> That's not a real exciting. So I'll replace them and uh, we'll hook it up and see if it works. All right. Okay, I decided that maybe some of you guys might want to see me replace these things. So I'm going to I'm gonna video it and, you know, if you don't like it, just, just skip it or fast forward through it. But I'm going to um, get this first one out right here that's broken. So we'll start with that one. All right, 
And it's that simple when you got the right tool, but not a lot of wrestling to it. See, it came right out. So there it is on the table right there. <laughs> Part of it. I don't know where the other leg went. It might have got sucked up in the, the gun. But. Okay, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this other capacitor out right here too. This one's a little more stubborn. Gotta have my magnifying glass here. I'll try to keep it out of the way. Okay, it just needs to be heated up a little bit and popped out. Some of this solder that's been in here for decades can be a little bit of a booger to get loose. I also see that right there. Those two pins are connected. Obviously they're supposed to be. Cut it off, pull it out. It's a little difficult while you're trying to video because normally I have this magnifying glass down. I get a bit closer. It's a little blurry. It needs to be right about here. Okay. So let me heat this thing up. Trying to be easy. Man, that thing don't really come out of there. what I get for bragging about how easy the first one was. Sometimes if the solder doesn't want to come out, you can put some fresh over it, heat it up real good, and then suck all of it out. So we'll give that a shot. Mm -hmm. 
it's, it's gonna be hard to get y'all a good shot doing this, so just bear with us. Just turn it off. All right, well, I lost my camera guy, and um, but I did get the capacitors out. Um, this one, this one, one here, and one here. Um, these two are leaking, uh, this one and this one, so I'm cleaning it up pretty good. I uh, got some alcohol. Excuse me, I'm not, it's hard to film and do this, but I'm gonna clean these spots up really good. Just gonna go ahead and clean them all up like that okay well I just wanted y'all to see that there's no way I can video and uh, put these capacitors in so I'm gonna put the capacitors in and I'll be right back all right the capacitors in look pretty good show you the back of them here Not too bad, you can't hardly tell which ones I did. So that's a good thing. Um, got those in, I'm gonna put it back together. Uh, it'll be several hours before the bracket is ready to mount the um, SD card drive. So um, I'm gonna stop and then uh, when we come back, we'll get it all reassembled and uh, put in the SD drive. Okay, I got the uh, board put back in the drive, the case. And uh, I made a bracket for his uh, SD card um, controller here. Um, he didn't send any uh, cables with it or an SD card, so I can't really test it out. So what I did was I pulled a setup out of one of my CMD drives to test it out. It's already set up, already formatted. So we'll know pretty quick if it's working or not. I'll just get it put in here cable hooked up I'm just gonna kind of wedge it in here for right now because it fits in there nice and tight and these SD card uh, SCSI to SD cards are what they called and, and man they work great in these old drives okay so I had this card set up for device 12 so that'll work good in this setup and we're getting the lights before when he we would fire it up it would uh, give an error light here and you can see it's booted up perfectly fine and it's ready so uh, I'm gonna access the drive and we should see the lights flickering over there as soon as I hit the yep there they go and it's uh, listed the directory off of the SD card I'll do it one more time you show up here this is the backup for my bulletin board. So it's working, um, seems to be working fine. It loaded the program and it's running it. So I think everything's good to go. Yep, it's booting up my copy of the program. So we're good. All right, that's it, she's ready to go back. I'll get it all the way put back together um, I'm gonna put his, of course, I'm gonna put his car, uh, card controller in there and everything and put it back together. And uh, that should be it, she's ready to go.